The motor car is not the invention of any single individual or country. It has developed in different forms all over the world and become a symbol of national taste and artistry, of engineering skill and of craftsmanship. It is an obscure history with many nations claiming the motor car as the invention of their countrymen because it is, and always has been, a mixture of romance and reality, of fiction and of fact. Here are but some of the multitude of inventions and of ideas, of dreams and of designs that led to the dawn of motoring. The history of the motor car begins with the wheel. For thousands of years, this early invention is the basis of nearly all land vehicles, and it is developed and modified in countless ways. Wheels become highly sophisticated engineering, but in King George III's reign, it still takes as long to travel from London to Manchester as it did from Londinium to Mancunium 1,600 years earlier, in the days of the Emperor Hadrian. The dawn of motoring was slow and precarious. The cars that are affectionately known in motoring history as the veterans transformed it. It's in the 1890s that the Benz Victoria becomes one of the first motor cars to be sold in quantity to the public. It has little more than a single cylinder gas engine modified to run on petrol. The First World War brought the motor industry to a standstill. The splendid veteran cars of pre-war years are used by officers or laid up for the duration. Joyriding is a crime, but a great army of engineers and mechanics has been trained to build and maintain the machines of war. And the petrol engine has been developed to give greater and greater power. This wartime development of the petrol engine and of the engineering industry opens up the way for the most exciting and glamorous age of motoring.